Hi guys, it's me, Gordon from GW TV, and today, super exciting video, we're finally gonna do a walkthrough tour of the van. Let's do it. Just before we start this video, it's right that I say a massive thank you to the guys right here at the Apple Yard in Sittingbourne. They're right around the corner from my house and these guys kindly gave me permission to film the video here. If you guys are ever in around Sittingbourne, please do check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Send them some love, come along, bring the family, have a night out, you won't be disappointed. So I thought it would be really good to tell you some of the story of this van. Uh, it started life with me anyway in 2016 in that summer. Um, my wife and I, we had a a T2 old style low light Volkswagen camper van it was a bit of a beast it was a tin top really ratty and tatty we sold that and with that money we went out and we bought this but at the time this was a kind of a, uh, a white panel van that had uh, been lowered 40 mil on springs and it had some big over finch alloys on it it was very low mileage it was about 70,000 miles on the clock and the guy that owned it had it all kitted out as a mobile windsurfing shack so he had all his gear in there and he'd literally drive it from his house down to the local lakes and sometimes a bit further afield at the weekends but it had a few dead and dings on some of the panels in fact most of the panels but that didn't put me off because I just really wanted a low mileage van that summer GW TV was born I'd been watching lots of YouTube videos so sort of, this is my fourth van so I'd had three before none of which I'd fully converted and but I'd messed around with most of the things playing around with the electrics fitting bits and bobs taking bits and bobs out that was broken and I kind of said to my wife I reckon I could build one from scratch watched a few videos and then kind of thought well, okay well let's maybe make our own videos we set about setting up GW TV since then 60 videos later um, nearly 5,000 subscribers at this point and 750,000 views that's three quarters of a million views guys that's crazy um, GW TV's become a thing I love it and uh, the van is pretty much finished sadly I'm selling it one of my friends is buying it it's literally going in a week or two so I thought I better get this video done I just want to give you a little bit of a walkthrough around the van check it all out and let's just see uh, kind of what you think So starting with the outside, it's had a full-on respray. I've debadged the front, and so it's got a debadged grill, and then I've smoothed off the bonnet just on there, so it hasn't got the little oval bit where the VW badge would be. A nice black grill. Um, it's obviously had a bit of a spray job on it. A guy called Luke Brabants uh, in Sussex, awesome guy, uh, did a brilliant job for me. Very, very pleased with that. The headlights, these aren't the original headlights. These are depot lights. They're aftermarket ones. Um, bit of a pain to fit so to fit these what you need to do is you need to take off the bumper the van already had kind of this lower front splitter on it and so I just did a bit of a patchwork repair there's a video of that on the channel uh, just to kind of tidy that up um, like the whole kind of spray job the whole inspiration behind this uh, really I wanted something that looked a little bit kind of like 80s synth wave tron i'm into all that sort of stuff you know i was born in 79 i'm 40 actually in about 60 days which is super scary and so i've sent luke a few pictures he sent me some back and then we came up with this mock-up i'm really pleased with how that spray job's come out it looks awesome uh, it's getting a little bit chipped at the front with stone chips and stuff but you've got to expect that it's got on the back um, you can see just down here it's got like these extra um, little corner bits I don't know what you call those they have got some really weird name um, but yeah they were on there already um, obviously cutting all the windows at the back so we went for full in win on windows I wouldn't if I knew what I was doing at the start I wouldn't have fitted this back one because I've basically got a unit behind that and there's no backing on the unit and so I don't really need this one I've got Heco wind deflectors on the front upgraded the mirrors to T5 point one ones and these wheels um, that we've got on there they're 22 inch rims they've been uh, it's been lowered 40 mil that was before I got it so I've just kept those the same I kind of like to maybe change the color of those make them black um, but I'm not keeping it I love this bonnet check that out it's proper like apocalyptic and then obviously as you've seen this roof pops up uh, it's wonderful so that means you can potentially my wife and I sleep in the back um, you can get a couple of kids in the roof if you need to and if you had a very small one you can get those little camping hammocks uh, that go across the front and so 
could get could score his five in there. It'd be a bit crazy, but it's possible. I forgot to mention this sneak. You can't even see it where it's been resprayed, but it's um, this is the reversing camera. Um, just there, uh, which is great. So on that doubled in head unit, I can use it as a reversing camera, which is brilliant. Um, so obviously it's got the roof spoiler as well. Next, if we just go inside the van. So there's a lot going on in here in the cab. I'll try and show you as much as I can. There's obviously a little bit of homage here still to the Star Wars theme, like a few little bits and bobs that I've left in here. But I sprayed this uh, white with plastic coat. There's videos on all this stuff. Uh, fitted these dials and these little trims, this gear knob and the ring, uh, which is great. I've got my little white van, which it was before. Colored those back windows in with marker pen. Check that out, that looks awesome. In here is the hookup for the mains electric, which you can just feed up under under here with the window open. I fitted electric windows. It's got this lovely Pioneer doubled in hedge unit, which is great. Um, I re-trimmed these. Whoever complained about how I'd done the first one, which yeah, is a bit lumpy, wobbly, bobbly. Well, look, I did this one perfectly. That looks great. Uh, it's got these poppers on here for a front cab line that goes across. One of the things I'm most pleased about in this van, like you guys will know, if you're fans of the channel, if you're subscribed, you'll know about captain seats up in Leicester. Check these seats out. They are absolutely beautiful. I love the guys at captain seats. I wouldn't promote them if I didn't believe in them. Um, they're absolutely awesome and I'm happy to send you their way. Say that you saw GW TV. If you're thinking about buying a set from them, be extra nice to them. Say hello to George, send him some love. When you get them fitted, go and take him a Krispy Kreme donut or something like that, he'll love that. Um, but the quality of these is amazing. My ones have got VW logos. I think if I'd have known at the time, I might have gone for GW TV or something like that. But the quality of these is, is great. I've had these for two years now. Uh, they're looking absolutely beautiful still. Um, the stitching's great. I've not had any problems at all. Um, I've also got a rock and roll bed in the back, but just look at all this, the piping. They're lovely. You can get them in whatever color you want, whatever trim you want. Um, they're just things of immense beauty. Those are the Bentley stitching. Things are moved on a little bit then. They've got a few new designs, things like that. So check them out. Captain seats, link will be in the description. Um, and so yeah, I'm really happy with this. There's lots of like little odd bits that I've done, like cable ties on the handles. That's something that a lot of people will do um, my ashtray has broken so many times and I've literally drilled holes in here and that's got cable ties keeping these bits on if you ever find that these break um, great little tip if you drill through them use a cable tire when the pin breaks that's the best way to fix those I've not done a video on it I should have but that's a, a great little fix um, and so yeah there we go look at that that's a it, I like it up here it looks great this was when it was a white van I think I might have done it differently if I was to keep it longer because it's not stayed white um, but it still works because of the stitching and all that sort of stuff. Um, and so that's pretty much the front all taken care of. Um, don't forget the little um, Lego Stormtrooper heads just on here. It's great when they pop up and down bink, 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 uh, with the electrical remote. So that's really cool. Next up, what we're going to do is have a little look at the pop top roof going up. So let's check that out. So as you can see, that doesn't take long. Uh, it's an Oztops roof. I'll explain a little bit more about it in a minute. in the roof of the van look there down there's the floor this is the roof so this is with the bed down so you can get an adult up here quite comfortably or a couple of I'd say teenagers I've had my daughter slept up here one of my mates slept up here when I went um, surfing with him in Bude in last summer um, they both said it was really comfy uh, it's got windows on either side which is great and then another one at this end just here uh, which is great this one you see through the other two have got vents on 
uh, to kind of let keep flies out and stuff like that. And then if you unclip this, look, check this out. Oh, Mom's aren't long enough to hold this in the camera. Here we go, unclipped. That's out of the way. Just give this a little push up. Boom, look at that. So standing room, which means I can get right to the cooker, which is just down here. And then, so theory being that I could stand here and cook. I open these windows um, to let some air in. Tuck this out of the way. Um, now look at that, I can stand here and cook. Um, if you tuck that in, it's not going to get set fire to. Haha, <laughs> that'd be a laugh. And so look at that, head height is amazing. Loads of room. I'm like five foot nine, so you could be like seven, eight foot and still have headroom, which is great. And then obviously it means you can hang around. So if you've got like a large awning on the side, um, oh, sorry about the light there. Huge contrast. If you had an awning on the side here, you can imagine your family kind of sleeping in this bit, maybe parents or someone in here. And then this is your little kitchen where you've got all your bits and bobs. So that's really, really cool. Um, so very, very happy with this. And as you can see, this comes up and down so, so quickly, uh, which is super great. As you can see, one arm, boom, that's come straight down. And then all you do is hook that back on and then the roof comes down. Check out Oztops. Genuinely, I can recommend them. I'm not paid to say that. I've got this one, I've used it, it's great. We've had it on for about two years now, I think. So next up, I think what we'll do, we'll take this roof down and you can just see how quick and easy it is to bring down. So I'll just do it. There's two little pulleys that you pull at the front. So check this out. Now, as you can see, I don't know how long that took, what, 40 seconds, something like that. So I'm really, really pleased with this roof. It's great. All you gotta do is tidy up the little pull cords that are on there after doing that, and then that's the job done. So these are the little pulleys. There's one either side. They're just like cords that go through a latch, and you sort of just pull it down. That keeps the roof secure. So from the outside, you're never gonna open it. So it's lovely and secure. There aren't bolts and things. Some roofs have those. That's a bit overkill in my mind. Just takes longer to put the roof up and down. Uh, if someone wants to get in your roof, they're going to get in the roof, regardless of what you've got on there. This is really secure. You can't prise it open or anything. Um, they'd be better off just smashing a window roof or not. So once it's pulled down, you literally just fold it up. So I just kind of loop it like this, and then the same again, and then the same again. And then I just tuck it. I don't know if you can see. I just tuck it in the top of the roof. Um, so that's there. Check that out. So that's just up there. So next time I get out, pull it down, boom, roof up. So that's really, really quick. Um, and then you'd obviously do the same with the other side as well. Next, let's venture into the back of the van. Now this has got a lot more stuff going on with it if we just have a quick look in here uh, we've got the obligatory waco fridge um, which is great you can see in there's enough room to get some beers and uh, whatever else you might want all room for your breakfast in the morning and all that sort of stuff in here i just keep little bits like chopping boards and towels and a couple of little saucepans a little saucepan kit there's a little table that goes it's kept at the back of the van on the back door but that just clips on here so i've got the table out the back i'll just show you how quick it is to fit i'll just pull the handle out literally that clips on as quick as that as you can see guys i can now sit here having my dinner on my little table or playing games which is great so you can see these beautiful units which i got and these were fitted um, by a company called northern rose campervan conversions they're really really well done really really well built um, they're perfect for my means. I've got timbre doors. At the back, there's another couple of little units there. These have got great little push catches, which you just push. And then there we go, look at that, that's brilliant. So there's storage in there. If you're in the market for some units, check out Northern Rose Camper Van Conversions. They're all the way up in Leeds, but it's worth the trip. You can contact them on Facebook. They've got a really got a good website as well. Link will be in the description. But those guys, you can trust them to build you some great units. Here is the Smev Cooker. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It looks amazing. And so, 
you pull this up. Okay, so what we've got is double burners, um, which is great. And then here we've got a tap with running water. Um, it's not connected to the, well it is connected to the mains, but the mains is off at the moment, or the 12 volt is off at the moment. But that's beautiful, really good. These are also act as a bit of a splashback as well, which is great. I've also, because I've got the windows, I've got this window here, which I normally just have that open like that. So if I'm cooking bacon or anything like that, plus with this bit of roof up as well, and the air ventilation, it's just great. You don't get all those horrible smells and things getting all greasy and slimy, because obviously having carpet on this bit, um, if you've got grease and all that, you know, it can stick. So I've got a lot of ventilation, which is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's a great kit. It's not the cheapest, but it's one of the best. So uh, well worth doing, and it looks, I think it looks awesome. And then in these units, this will divide opinion a little bit. So if some of you guys have already got conversions, particularly professional ones, you wouldn't have done it like this. I just based mine on what I'd had in a very old camper. So let's have a little look what we got. So in here, there's all sorts of wonders and things. So starting over here, we've got my fresh water and my wastewater. Now I know some people have been like, why do you have got your wastewater in the van? Sometimes what people do, they run the waste from the bottom of the sink right through down the floor underneath the van and then you have to put a thing out there. I used to do that on one of my vans. I found it to be a right old pain in the neck. So I know if I'm going away for a weekend, I can literally just empty that wastewater. It's not going to fill up. Um, that works for me. And also I can just keep an eye on it. Um, it just works. The way it's all set up, you can see I've got these grommets on the top of the bottles. And so that stops any splash back or anything like that. So this fresh water, this runs all the way up to the tap in here and that sort of comes out through there that's on a solenoid so you can turn that on and off gel leisure battery which is great it's a lot more stable it's not got fluid in it so having a gel battery um, you're less likely to have acid leaking um, there's a little trap here for the gas because obviously if you've got gas in your van that gas is heavy so it settles so um, if you've got a gas leak it will go out of there rather than kill everyone if it's if you've not got a gas trap. I've got all things like, you know, washing bowls and all that sort of stuff, frying pans. There is a little fuse box which some of my electrics run to. And then in the top, just there, this is my, there's a split charge relay and some wiring as well, an earth block connector and some of the gas piping. Um, and then I've got in here, like my mains electric, uh, another couple of little things like um, cleaning stuff, um, hand wash, plasters, um, cups of tea and coffee all of that stuff basically is all the basics that you need and so most of that just stays in there doesn't get touched I just top up the tea and coffee every now and then it's like little bin bags uh, tea towels all that sort of stuff spoons knives and forks one of the other things that I really like that I did is little plinth lights along the bottom kind of little 15 mil lights LED lights they're all kind of wired in in sequence all going along the bottom and then just here at the back I've got a, um, that's a USB socket uh, for charging. I've actually also got one on the other side, just there, which my kids can use. Here's the light switches, and so we've got one which does these lights. I've got this light just down here, you can see it's broken, so I've ordered a replacement one, and I'm going to sort that out for my way. But they look really, really good. And then the other light does these, which is on the roof. You can see I've got a long strip and so there's all of these along the roof that's more than enough lighting which is great um, there's obviously the captain seat rock and roll bed so next up what we're going to do i'm going to show you how to get the bed down it's really easy there's a little um little pulley here you just pull that across and then the bed literally just pulls down like that and then what you do there's obviously seat belts on the back which are retractable so i normally just pull those forward Put the little buckles just out the way there check that out and so that is ready to go to sleep uh, my wife and i we both sleep on here uh, when we've got the kids uh, with us then look the kids are normally in the awning on the side and um, there's enough room here for two adults and um, i tend to like to sleep like this so my poor wife she's like tucked up in the corner like that but this is a great bed it's really comfy quality from captain seats amazing they do all sorts of different like M1 tested beds, crash pool beds. Um, this is their kind of gas strut one. It's really, really good. Again, we've had this two years and it looks like it did from new. Uh, we've slept on it quite a few times. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it. It goes right the way at the back of the van. One of the things I'll show you as well to make the bed um, come back up, there's a little hand pull that you just pull and then look at this, no hands. It's gone back. So that is absolutely amazing. Throughout the back, all the windows, I've got these curtains. Yeah, the ones I got were from 
V-Dub campers. Um, so you can check those guys out, but I've got those all the way around. They're really, really quite good, actually. Um, they were the cheapest ones I could find. Um, got them all around all the windows. This is one of my favorite things. Check this out. So we've got plug sockets and USB connectors. So that's only work, works on mains hookup, but look at that. It looks beautiful, really, really easy to do. And that's plugged into the back of the EC160. So this is the Sergeant EC160. There's a video of me installing this and reviewing it as well. Um, this has basically got the power for um, the leisure battery, the mains battery, the car battery. Um, it's also got the switches for the lights and the water pump. It tells you what the voltage is. Um, in here are all the fuses. And that's for all the 12 volt electrics. And then in this one, this is like the RCD. Mains electric on a campsite or at your house. You can charge the battery up using this just here. Um, then I've got a couple of mains sockets as well, which is great. When I did this, I obviously um, gutted the back of the van, uh, insulated it, um, put all sorts of soundproofing in there as well. I fitted this flooring, um, like fitted this cab step, loads of different things. Um, kind of, it's crazy really. Like there's a lot of videos, you can watch it all the way through. So there we go guys, that's the van tour. I really do hope that you've um, enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Although this van project's pretty much come to an end, I'm gonna be doing another van at some point fairly soon. And also I'm gonna be doing some vlogs on kind of daily life and stuff like that. So if you've kind of enjoyed getting to know me a little bit and join being part of the GW TV community, then I'd love you to be a bit more involved. And particularly as we start getting close to 5,000 subscribers, there's an opportunity to win a set of front cab lines for a VW T5. A little link will come up just up on the screen. You can watch that video, find out how to enter. Really, really thankful for all your love and support. All of those 750,000 views, 5,000 subscribers. It's just crazy, really. I absolutely love it. Um, thank you so much for the love. Thank you for all the positive comments. Let me know, do you prefer the pink side of the van or the blue side of the van? Or did you prefer it when it was white? I won't get upset either way, but guys, Thank you so much for being part of the adventure. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers, guys. See you later.